The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the joy of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning everyone and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Patrick and St. Joseph and we're celebrating Mass this morning, the Feast of St. Peter Chanel and the Chapel of St. Peter Chanel here at the Cathedral, which is on the chapel is on the, uh, the, the northern transept side of our cathedral. Of course, we have a beautiful picture of Peter Chanel and also a statue which was gifted to me by the uh, SMBSM sisters from the novitiate in Edmondale a number of years ago. So, no, my, hi, my welcome. As we celebrate this feast day today, St. Peter Chanel is the proto martyr of Oceania, which means the first martyr of Oceania and also is the patron of Aotearoa New Zealand. So we pray that through his intercession, we will always be a people whose hearts are missionary in our outreach to the care and love of, of the world in which we live. So let's take a moment now to place ourselves in God's presence, asking for pardon for the times we've failed, praying for healing and for the gift of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Kia inoi tato, let us pray. Almighty God, who for the spreading of your church crowned St. Peter Chanel as the first martyr of your church in Oceania, grant that in these days of paschal joy we may so celebrate the mystery of Christ's death and resurrection as to be a worthy witness to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. The message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the discernment of the discerning I will thwart. Where is the one who is wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, the world did not know God through wisdom. God decided through the foolishness of our proclamation to save those who believe. For Jews demand signs and Greeks desire wisdom. But we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block for Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. For God's foolishness is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you people. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread and the wine we offer, fruit of the earth and of the vine, that will become for us our spiritual food and drink. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Accept, O God, of all mercy, these offerings of our service, and grant us, we pray, the gifts of your Holy Spirit, so that, like St. Peter Chanel, we may prove unshakable in the face of adversity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Peter Chanel, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Tamohia tene kaine koto kato, kotoku tinina tene katukuene mokoto. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. Go by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to you that help us worthy to be in your presence and master to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, Michael, his auxiliary, and all the clergy and religious all your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
of the Blessed Apostles, St. Peter Chanel, St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Give strength, O Lord, to those who have shared this meal of salvation and joy, that following eagerly with St. Peter Chanel in the footsteps of your only begotten Son, we may proclaim the gospel of peace and truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Te matua, te te maiti, me te wairua tapu. Amen. Our celebration has ended. Go in peace to love 
and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And a very happy feast day to all of us on this day, the 28th of April. And apologies for our street cleaner who is out there picking up leaves. It's either a feast or a famine in the city. Some days you never see them, other days they're here, here like clockwork. So apologies. Kia ora koutou.